In this work, we designed and evaluated a shared gaze visualization to support communication between remote pair programmers. We developed a novel gaze visualization for Visual Studio that displays where your partner is looking as a rectangle on the left margin of the screen. It turns green when you're looking at the same thing. Based on observations with pair programming teams, we identified problematic areas for remote pair programming. We focused on the issue of re effectively referring to and communicating about locations in the code when you cannot see what your partner is looking at. Therefore, we address the research question. How does displaying gaze awareness affect how remote pair programmers refer to locations in the code? We conducted a lab experiment with 12 groups of pair programmers in a pseudo remote setup. The programmers are in the same room so they can communicate freely, but they cannot see each other. The screens are mirrored and scrolling is yoked so the programmers are looking at the same window and can edit in real time. We use a within subject design in which pairs can edit the code with and without the gaze awareness visualization. You will see in the following clip two programmers working together. Keep in mind that the gaze of the participant in the upper right is displayed on the screen in the lower left and vice versa. So I think we should move it. It should be, it sh I think it should be as, as this guy. Mm. So if it will be here, we don't have it anywhere else, so we can safely move it where it was here. Right? The results of this study suggest that the shared gaze visualization improved communication between remote pair programmers. The chart on the left shows the fraction of time that participants looked at the same place in the code. The black bar on the left shows when the gaze visualization was displayed, while the red bar on the right shows when the visualization was not displayed. You can see that when the gaze visualization was displayed, pairs looked at the same place in the code about 6% more often than when the visualization was not displayed. This result is significant according to an ANOVA test. The chart on the right shows the types of references made by participants from more implicit references on the left, such as deictic references or saying here or this, to more explicit references on the right, such as highlighting sections of code. We see that when the gaze visualization was displayed, participants used more implicit references compared to using more explicit references without the gaze visualization. This suggests that the visualizations supported more efficient communication by allowing pair programmers to use less specific language when referring to locations in the code. Pairs were also faster and more successful at acknowledging references with the gaze visualization. Additionally, we see that changing the bar color to green enabled pairs to understand when they were looking at the same thing as their partner at the same time. We would like to thank Microsoft Research for supporting this work.